Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily, daily stock market update and we will figure out is it bullish reversal or bearish reversal, what's going on with the stock market world. Let's move to 5 rules of risk management and remember you have to follow these rules if you want to be successful just follow these rules every trade and we, you will be successful. Never lose, rule number one, never lose more than one bar. Rule number two, never add to a losing trade. Rule number three, always use stop, hard stop. And rule up number four, once up, two bars, move stop and do not lose any money. Rule number five, five once up three bars, move stop and let winner runs and be profitable. That's how it works, very simple, but it's very emotional. You have to be disciplined. Okay, let's move to Vibull and let's start from Vibull. If you want to learn more about Vibull setup, just go to the description. There is the link about Vibull setup, training and other links about all my trainings. Let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using moving averages white line, it's a, a moving averages 200, yellow line, it's a MA20, red line, MA10, green line, MA5. And MACD indicator, green line, red line, signal line. RSI indicators and awesome oscillator indicators also. That's all very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved, but if you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. You see here, let me show you how it works. MA5, the line did bullish crossover over 10 and 20. And you buy here, put stop in the previous bar, protect yourself, one bar, you can lose only one bar, but at the same time, you can g uh, gain multiple bars, like 20 bars, and sell over here when MA5 did bearish crossover. It is bearish reversal signal. Sell over here. You gain multiple bars. You see, that's all, right? In this case, when MA5 did bullish crossover, you could buy over here, right? That's why we are using stop in the previous bar. What it did, it did sell off because it had stop. It did protect us. We had small loss in this situation, we had small loss, but in this situation, we had nice big loss gain. That's how it works. That's why we are using stops. Okay, that's all. Let's start it. Uh, MA5 did bearish crossover over 10 and 20. Bearish trend for USA dollar on daily time frame. Let's move to Q's. Q's daily and for swing trading I'm using daily time frame for entry and exit position. That's the my style. Let's let's start. Let's start. Am I, look at it. Uh, MA5 ready for bearish crossover over 10, right? Green line over red line. But but still last bar still between 5, 10 and about 20. And last two days it like it touched 22 times yesterday and today and it didn't break it it didn't break it even all indicators already bearish and they have bearish divergences on all indicators multiple bearish divergences still in the bearish reversal like i told you it will take some time to to break the bull trend let's check four hours time frame for hours time frame, MA5 already did bearish crossover over 10, also and 20. Even bar moved up, it can bull trap, but the trend is already bearish, right? All indicators already bearish, bearish divergences on all indicators. It is bearish, bearish reversal signal. All indicators in the bearish trend. That's what we have as of now. And let's, let's move to one hour time frame. One hour time frame. It was bearish. All moving, all bars in MA5 and 10 were below 20, below yellow line. But last hour, last two hours, I did bull run and I did close above all moving averages. MACD, Hikonachi, all indicators did bullish crossover on one hour time frame. Volatility index VXN was negative minus one percent but still positive on a daily time frame it is still in the bullish trend it is negative for Qs. SPX let's see SPX S&P 500 
today plus 0.67 percent nice green bar ma5 ready for bearish crossover over 10 bearish reversal bearish divergence is on all indicators look at it macd price action was uptrend bearish divergence on every indicator multiple bearish divergences on all indicators bearish trend same similar like on the queues right price action still positive still above all moving averages it is still bullish but all indicators already bearish four hours time frame four hours time frame uh we have two indicators bearish two indicators bullish last bar did bullish crossover over all moving averages it bounced also from the May 20. it's kind of positive it is bullish it is bullish one hour time frame bullish crossover on all indicators bullish reversal signal on one hour time frame on all indicators at the same time volatility index minus one and a half percent today minus one and a half percent today uh all indicators in the bearish reverse it's one hour time frame let's see the daily daily all indicators still bullish it means it's negative for spx for s p 500 it is bullish vix is bullish spx it's negative for spx dow jones let's start dow jones dow jones one hour time frame all indicators bullish bullish reversal signal on one hour time frame it did close this gap right yeah it closed this gap now it can do bearish reversal gap is closed this island reversal is closed already four hours time frame four hours time frame uh yeah it's ready for bullish crossover last bar close above all moving averages kind of bullish signal bullish signal and daily time frame for dow jones also positive two indicators bearish two indicators bullish and last bar moved above all, all moving averages it left gap down gap up below yeah looks like yeah we'll see will it bounce and it will will it go back and close the gap or it will continue to go bullish now it's about 20 20 is uptrend it's positive it is positive vxd volatility index plus three and a half percent bullish vxd bullish it means it's a bearish for dow jones all volatility indexes in the mixed mode the mixed mode they are positive it means it's a negative for indexes iwm iwm it's a positive small caps because of the sector rotation looks like large large uh, caps they're uh, selling and they're moving assets relocation of assets to small caps because small caps were very oversold look at it small cap like two weeks ago were very oversold now they're they are already overbought <laughs> nice bull run nice bull run it's a bullish trend with bearish divergences right price action is uptrend macd bearish divergence rsi bearish divergence are also oscillator all indicators in bearish divergence with multiple bearish divergences signal is bullish trend is bullish for iwm for our time frame same story bullish trend let me show you same bearish divergences you see price action uptrend let's let's see price action uptrend and bearish divergence on the macd and uh, on rsi and on also oscillator bearish div multiple bearish divergences but trend is bullish and one hour time frame same bullish trend with bearish divergences on all time frames for iwm looks like it wants to have correction but it can destroy this bearish divergences because it can continue to go bullish and destroy all divergences apple apple is 
negative it was negative today also like let's see daily let me turn off these signals three five days in a row right five days in a row it's red it's building bearish reversal from the all-time high and my five did bearish crossover last two bars they touched to 20 yellow line we'll see will will yellow line hold it and it will be support and will reject it and it will bounce from the ma 20 it's possible or it will continue and do breakout and do bearish crossover <coughs> so far all indicators in the bearish reversal signal but for full confirmation will be when bars move below 20 and ma5 and 10 move below 20 it will be full confirmation of the bearish trend like on four hours time frame right look at it. four hours time frame we already have full bearish reversal confirmation bars below ma20 ma5 and 10 did bearish crossover over 20. even it left gap above it left gap above like 50 cents 60 cents but still some gap bearish reversal signal on all indicators on four hours time frame for apple and one hour time frame one hour time frame is kind of it's trying to do bullish reversal maybe to it will do gap up and close not give up move up and close this small gap and that will continue to go bearish quick run close the gap we'll see Apple is in a bearish reversal mode. Tesla, Tesla similar on one hour time frame is trying to do some bullish reversal, but it is still in bearish trend because it's still below 20. All indicators still bearish except awesome oscillator on one hour time frame. Let's move four hours time frame for Tesla. Four hours time frame for Tesla, bearish divergences and all indicators in the in the bearish trend like you see macd bearish divergence right rsi bearish divergence and awesome oscillator bearish divergence too bearish divergences on all indicators and may find it bearish crossover similar like uh, like uh, uh, like other indexes, it stopped, you see last four bars, it stopped at MA20, MA20 strong support. Will it continue to stay and it will bounce from MA20 or it will continue and will break out 20 and will go and will do bearish crossover and bearish trend. Still bearish on all indicators for Tesla. And daily bearish divergences on all indicators and last bar stopped at ma10 still in the positive mode because it's still about 20 but all indicators already in the bearish divergences and the bearish reversal signal for tesla and let's see baba alibaba group daily time frame bullish reversal signal on all indicators very positive very positive bullish run four days ago it was very negative very oversold and now four days later it did gap up and now it is bullish on daily time frame let's move to four hours time frame similar story bullish trend bullish reversal on all indicators and last bar above all moving averages it touched rsi and overbought state like i told you it was very oversold and came back to overbought let's move to one hour time frame one hour time frame it is yeah it, it is still bullish it kind of we made 20 strong support still bullish bullish on all indicators on one hour time frame also baba on all time frames still bullish on all indicators let's move to nvidia nvidia one hour time frame flat flat price action no action no up no down just flat for our time frame also same story flat price action is dancing around the may 5 10 and 20. no action at all and daily time frame 
it is also flat you see for last 20 days it is flat price action no buyers no sellers it is waiting for some event maybe it is waiting for for earning season they want to see how tesla will deliver i'm tesla how nvidia will deliver two percent uh in this quarter in second quarter that's expectation of the tesla we'll see all indicators already in the bearish reversal signal no surprises but price still flat still positive that's all let's do summary all indexes they're building bearish reversal like i mentioned to you before it will be not easy to turn all indexes to bearish mode because uh, because all investors in the bullish grid extreme bullish grid extreme bullish grid it means investors will buy every dip they will buy every dip and it will take some time to bring market to bearish reversal or some trigger can quickly turn market to bearish i don't know what kind of trigger can happen but anything can happen but so far it is still flat and building top of the market and bearish reversal for all indexes except small cap because uh, it's yeah it's it's for it's more tappy for s p 500 and q's for dow jones and iwm it is bullish bullish small caps are bullish bull, bullish but remember all small caps they have bearish divergences on all indicators it means they can quickly do sell off also even they are so powerful so bullish so far but they they can quickly can be sold and remember the mega stocks now they're making bearish reversal it means relocation of assets from the mega stocks to small cap from the mega cap from to, to small cap that's what we are observing right now in the market and it will affect Q's and IW. Q's will be bearish, IWM can be bullish. But because of the bearish divergences, it can be bearish also. Be careful. That's all. That's all from my review. Thank you so much. Let's move to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational informational purposes only. And remember, for educational purposes, we are using paper trading simulator. Thank you for watching Simple Training Style video. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe for YouTube channel. Click like button to support the channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.